Hi guys, I'm going to be going over um, ribbon rows that I've made in the past. This one I'm going to be making with a satin ribbon. One side is shiny, the other is dull. I'm going to start, I don't know what length I have as you can see. What I like to do is basically I like to make a, a flower. Okay, and just start rolling the bud in the center you can see and just start wrapping it around and I'll do this several times so the basic point of this video is just to explain to you that when you make these flowers um, depending on the size, the width and the texture of your material uh, is determined by you the length of what you're going to use. So basically what I, as you can see what I'm doing here is I like to just take a, make a sample of a flower, okay, and just twist it. Alright. Now I hope that my nails, I know I get a lot of comments about my nails being in the way, but what matters is this. You see that I'm just taking the material, just twisting it back, Okay, not in the way, just twisting. Okay, and that's it. So I like to take the, the, the end, twist it back, and pinch it on the bottom. And then I would cut this here. Okay, then I would take the flower apart. Then I would measure the exact size that I have. Then I would subsequently make more ribbons to that length for this desired length of the flower. So then um, I would take some floral wire and I would wrap the end and finish it off like in my other video. And also um, this being that it's nice ribbon, satin ribbon, you can take a needle and thread, wrap it around, knot it, cut the ends off and attach it to garments, a headbands for children, their clothing, uh, shoes, your sneakers, whatever you, whatever you like. And I'm going to be showing you um, the materials that I used in the other video since I've been having a lot of requests. Now I do buy them at a wholesaler, but um, these are some stuff that I like to throw on there. See, I mean, you can get all sizes of this ribbon. This is an acetate. It's a fused edge. Okay, it's water repellent. Um, as you can see, this is um, 50 yards. It's very reasonable. Um, from let me see, I don't think that this is five dollars for this whole roll. You can see the company who made it here. Okay, these are pretty beat up because I use a lot of ribbon. Um, here we have, okay, another one. This is a pink. All right, um, I don't know if they have the price on it, but they're like five dollars, and I get it from the company you see right there. It's C and G. You can go online and look it up. It's in New Jersey. Okay. It's a wholesaler. And we have the green. Same thing. Okay. Oops. Sorry. It's hard doing this upside down. So um, that's basically it. Now if you want to make a, a leaf with these instead of um, going out and buying leaves what I recommend is to take a piece of the ribbon if you don't want to use um, silk leaves what you can do is basically just make a little triangle a little tab triangle and just scrunch it up all right scrunch it up and then you would take it and you would um, you would use it with uh, again a little floral tape and I'm going to use another flower that I just made but 
you can attach it to the ends it's just for a little greenery it's just for fun and you can see it adds a nice color to it alright guys I hope that this has helped and um, you've learned a little something and and why I don't mention the the lengths of of my uh, roses on my videos and of course you could buy all these pretty things where if you're making little flowers this is not it right now but um, you can attach ribbons to it and make it pretty and dangle it for accents so another thing that I want to show you from my former questions that I guess in the other video is I buy this um, wire okay you see Right. Um, this wire is a floral wire. It's fabric covered. And again, I get this at the same wholesaler that I just showed you over here. Okay, and I have to tell you, when you're cutting your wires, please use a wire snip so you don't ruin your scissors when you're cutting your ribbons. Well, guys, I hope that's been helpful and that I've been able to answer some of your questions in regards to what I use and how I do my flowers like you see this one fell apart so I would just take it measure it and I guess this is almost like um, like uh, 12 inches over here that's guessing I mean, it's about an inch wide ribbon but like I said make your flowers take it apart cut them have your your strips all pre-cut and knock out a lot of flowers hope that's been helpful thank you enjoy and take care and make some uh, roses and flowers. Bye-bye.